All right, now let's do 2560 by 1600. Again, everything is maxed out, DirectX 11, uh, Windows 7 64-bit, just so you guys know. Everything's maxed, as much as we can do. And let's run the benchmark, and we'll show you the difference. Again, it's the same scene, it's just it's gonna be a lot more intense. As you can see, with this resolution that's already the frames per second is a lot lower. Everything looks like it's pausing. Man, at this resolution, gaming is awesome looking, but you gotta push it to uh, be able to do it. You can see it's like hitch, 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 hitch. It's a lot, man. It's a lot asking for the uh, video cards right now. Good news, I should have my second uh, 670 for the win edition tomorrow. So finally, my system would be complete again. It's been a long time without the second card. Alright, that's pass one, guys, at 2560 by 1600. Here goes pass two. just a fun comparison, considering this game is still one of the most intensive GPU games out there. Yeah, guys, I really recommend this monitor to you guys. If you guys can somehow swing it one day, do it, because you'll love it. You know, it's like anything in life, man. It's just, you know, it takes a lot to, you know, you, you say to yourself, man, I could buy a whole computer for the amount you buy your monitor for. But you know what? It's just to see gaming at this kind of resolution, it's just really is breathtaking, man. I can't believe how much better it is. It's just intense. All right. That's past two. So let's do it. All right. I'm going to show you um, the difference. Give me a second, let me pull this up. Here we go. Alright guys, let's see if this comes up clear, but if not, I will explain it to you and let you know. This is the uh, results of the uh, benchmarking. We got on the right is the 2560 by 1600 benchmark, and on the left is the 1920 by 1080. Again, they ran at the exact same um, settings, so... DirectX 11 was on, yada, 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 you know, physics and tessellation maxed out on both with a GTX 670 for the win edition. One card, just so you guys know. So, here we go. We got, on the right, the average frame rate on the 2560 by 1600 was 17 frames, okay? And on the left, which is the 1920 by 1080, it was, average frame rate was 29.67. So, Right there, we're already a 12, little over 12 frame rate difference on your average frame rate. Okay, so at 1920 by 1080, you're getting 29.67, and at 2560 by 1600, you're getting 17. So 12 already right there. Max frame rate at 2560 by 1600 was 29.56. That was the max, and on the 1920 by 1080, it was 63.01. So... Right there, you are getting double the max frame rate at 1920 by 1080 than you do at 2560 by 1600. This will just show you how GPU intensive it is when you jump up to this resolution. All right, guys? So you're doubling your maximum frame rate. All right? Then we're going to go to minimum frame rate. This was very, this was more closer. Uh, at 2560 by 1600, we got a minimum frame rate of 6.39. And at 1920 by 1080, minimum frame rate was 5.58. So there you go, guys. This is the uh, Metro Benchmark. Um, so breakdown at you know 1920 by 1080, uh, you're getting 29 average with max everything. Uh, 63 at max frame rate, 5.58 minimum. At 2560 by 1600, average frame rate 17. Max was 29.56, and minimum was 6.39. So that's it, guys. Just want to show you, this is a good way to show you how much 
intensive more that the high resolution pushes your cards. So you need good cards to push this resolution. That's why I need a second card and a hopefully, hopefully have it tomorrow. But that's it, guys. Wanted to do a cool video, and that's it. All right, we'll get it up there and show you guys.